Hi there. This is a short video on how to approach a pestle analysis in your organization. And I've done this video in Bermuda at the spot where Bermuda Patriots basically pinched the British supply of gunpowder and handed it over to Americans to assist them in their war of independence from the British. Enjoy. <music> So a pest analysis is something that can be done in a workshop where the business analyst brings together all the relevant stakeholders who can give their expert judgment, their opinion on the external uh, environment in which an organisation resides. So if we go through each of the topics that a pest analysis covers, we can give some examples of what it could draw out from the stakeholders. So for the political side, the organisation could be affected by political decisions taken. So at the moment we have the conflict in Russia and Ukraine. So a government uh, taking decisions to enter that conflict in different various ways could cause repercussions for that organisation. Equally, the government not being involved could cause uh, uh, issues for that organisation. So these things would be drawn out. Other political aspects that could affect an organisation is a change of government. Uh, a government could change to one less or more sympathetic to what that organisation is doing. In terms of economical factors, it could be that uh, the rate of inflation in the country that that organisation exists is going up and that could have an effect on the position of that organisation in the market. It could be that the organisation's suppliers are in countries where inflation is going up and therefore the pricing of the products or services that the organisation has to pay, uh, it could increase. In terms of socio-cultural, you could be looking at your client base and some organisations' business models rely on uh, customers who are say 55 years to 85 years of age and one issue there is as people get older there could be uh, fewer people around. Uh, another aspect of socio-cultural considerations could be that the needs of that particular customer has changed. Maybe their tastes have become more sophisticated so uh, the organisation needs to be uh, aware of that or their customers are becoming more uh, or, or becoming better educated and there, there could be uh, some opinion there from your stakeholders as to what this means for the organisation. For the technology side or the technological aspect of a pestle analysis you would be looking at the technology the organisation um, has access to or is used uh, in how it conducts its business. Is that technology changing? Is it becoming uh, redundant? Is it being replaced with something or is it becoming redundant and not being replaced with something? Those are other things that your stakeholders will have opinions and uh, expert judgment on. And then of course you have the legal aspect. Is your organisation uh, exposed to or uh, falling under regulations not just within its own country but in the other countries in which it does business. For example, the country within which an organisation is based, the regulations there may be light touch towards particular aspects of what the organisation does, but in the business it transacts elsewhere there could be tougher regulations. So again your stakeholders will explain. And as far as the environmental consideration goes of the pestle analysis, you will be looking at uh, the effect of your organisation of uh, environmental uh, external factors such as is the uh, organisation being exposed to a move towards greener technologies or is it uh, still reliant on say fossil fuels? Are those fossil fuels going to become uh, you know less accessible? E indeed uh, you could go back to your socio-cultural and say would your clients expect you to move to greener and stop using um, 
uh, fossil fuels. Now, the idea of the pest analysis is not to come up with solutions to the external factors that the organisation finds itself in. This isn't a solution finding exercise. It's about capturing what the in external factors are that affect the organisation. And that's why it's important that you ensure that you're drawing out people's expert opinion, uh, expert judgment and their opinions as to how things are now rather than trying to find uh, solutions for the issues that your organisation is or may be facing. Thank you. Take care.